Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otzel C and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Last time we ended up here on top of the uh, current build of our raid farm uh, and I promise we will get into the nitty gritty details of the redstone right at the start of this episode uh, because this third layer, there are two more layers further down. Uh, is the most um, intricate. So let's get into it. Here on this side we do have the uh, non-redstone part with the uh, villager chamber. I think it's uh, five clerics and two stonemasons which will gift me with redstone lapis and clay blocks when I come back with the uh, hero of the village. And I, as the player, will be standing here between this wall and this fence on this uh, trapdoor here and swing my sword between the uh, chest and the, uh, the uh, pass block here and killing all the mobs that fall from the top will be collected by the minecart which then goes into two hoppers. On this side we have a hopper clock. Uh, the hoppers are on the other side between below these uh, droppers uh, with uh, 74 items in it. Um, once uh, it, the redstone block is moved over uh, this uh, redstone will be powered, powering this trapdoor like this, powering the observer, which then powers this uh, redstone uh, torch tower, uh, triggering this trapdoor, which will drop the player down uh, so he can actually reach the village, which is way below there. Cannot even see it you to the clouds and renew the raid and then of course with the uh, bubble elevator coming up and do another round and then here on this side we have uh, two sticky pistons with strap tours on it and they will uh, oscillate um, and thereby preventing the mobs that fall from top uh, falling all the way through uh, so I would be able to hit them before they hit the ground and take actual damage so they will take fall damage on one of these trapdoors and then eventually they will fall further down where I can hit them and then on this side top here this is actually the circuit which uh, triggers these trapdoors and the trick to start it is uh, uh, really fast switching on and off of this lever like not like that and you have to break this redstone to turn it off which is a bit of a, a, a drawback but we have access uh, uh, to it and there you can see them go. But let's uh, disable them for now. And then below here, um, all the drops from the villagers and uh, also from the uh, uh, minecart there, they go into two hoppers and then into a dispenser, which will eventually uh, dispense everything into this water stream and then into the uh, sorter uh, on this side. Currently, I do have only eight uh, modules uh, set up and then two uh, double chests here at the end for everything else, mainly for Totem of Undying and uh, potions that I want to keep, and all the rest will then eventually fall down into the water and this spawn. 
So now it's time for the final stretch to the top. Uh, I think we will actually almost hit uh, build limit with the top. Um, we have to go a bit further up with uh, with the drop shoot here, and then actually having the uh, spawn platform, um, which can be um, I would not say tricky to build, but uh, you have to uh, know how to place uh, the blocks in uh, which order so uh, it comes out right. So we will see how that goes. The topmost part, also known as the spawning platform, is now almost complete. I still need to place some uh, lava which will flow on these uh, chests here but only on the chests and placing that can be tricky as uh, it involves uh, placing some temporary blocks uh, to get some trapdoors and fences in place so the actual the, the, the lava actually only flows onto the chest and not to the other side making a mess over here here in the middle we have a 5x5 five five packed ice spawning platform and the raids will spawn on there and then they will push the others already present to the side. Of course there will be ravagers which are higher and cannot fit in this uh, too wide gap and uh, that's actually the reason why we have this uh, slightly weird contraption uh, with chests and then lava on top and the uh, net of fences here at the uh, uh, corners because that way the ravages will uh, basically burn in the lava and eventually die. Everything that goes down uh, will be uh, pushed here into the middle and then down one layer further. Um, where we have uh, another water stream that pushes every side over here and into the drop shaft down to the killing chamber eventually. So I think for the last part we will do this in a time lapse form. At the topmost part we have to place some lava in a manner that the source is above the gap and it flows down onto the chests. Lava is like water as it finds the fastest way downwards and once the flow is established it does not change. As a chest is not a full block that is the lowest the lava can flow. We just have to ensure that there is no other way to any block further down. That is where the trapdoors, fence gates and temporary blocks come in. The fence gates are opened so that they are still block the lava flow down but allow ravages jumping up. Everything also needs to be spawn proof as the raids must only spawn on the ice. For the last part we will conclude with another time lapse of the running farm. There were a few things that needed fixing, like missing redstone pieces. The dropper for the items was also inconveniently placed as some items fell through a gap all the way down to the ocean. Then the lava in the dispenser to kill all remaining mobs must be placed when the clock is in the correct state Otherwise, the lava is out while the player is on top and the raid is going on. The farm, as designed by Raceworks, is intended to run on difficulty hard, and I play on normal. This means that there are less raid waves, which also might be smaller. Therefore, the farm has a tendency to stop after coming back up. This could probably be fixed by adjusting the timing. However, I switched to hard mode to run the farm. In the short time of this time lapse, I collected more than one chest full of emeralds, which I consider a success. But that will be all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. 
Until the next time, goodbye!